Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm revisiting something that isn't necessarily new. Um, we've done a couple of unboxing videos of things that I really think are pretty cool and this is an example. This is Project's Record Master. This little combination of features and quality is something that kind of I think is pretty good um, and aside from uh, projects very popular range of debut and classics and one expressions and all these types of things This is a nuts and bolts design that um, gives a feature set that a lot of people really enjoy and it's in a wood grain uh, Which I think is important for for some customers as gloss finishes and other things really don't work for them So without too much delay, let's have a look at this product All project turntables come in a relatively plain white box you will see Project's logo on one side and model and serial number information on one end. This particular model, as I said, is the debut um, uh, Record Master. And so it features, it talks about the stylus and cartridge that are fitted to it and other colour options on the end. Okay. This is factory sealed with uh, white um, fabric tape. So it's a paper tape of some kind. And um, it's very straightforward to open. Um, as we first look into it, the accessory pack is at the very top, and in it is a series of all sorts of things that we are going to have a look at today. So the first um, is a couple of things. We've got an Allen key, and we've got a little wee puck used to uh, expand the center point for if you're using 45s or some of the old records. Um, we've got the all-important anti-skate. Now, hang around for some of the video, uh, sorry, photos from Anifta this unbox video, because you'll see some of this assembled. Um, we have got the turntables belt. Now, unusually, it comes with a couple of belts. Uh, one is round, and the other one is the traditional flat one from Project. We've got a, a, a little weight. This is to add uh, mass to the head, should you be using a very light cartridge or stylus. One of Project's new interconnecting cables, this is a little bit of a weave design, and of course, as, as you would expect, has an earth lead attached. Now, this turntable has an onboard phono preamp, and the ability to connect it to a computer for the purposes of recording. So, it actually comes with a basic USB cable. Lastly, um, user manual. So, drilling in, you've got a protective piece of cardboard, and then the product's uh, plastic lid. The, the lid is uh, held above the, the height of the turntable to ensure in transit it really can't come to any harm. And has one of those um, sort of cloth, cloth almost polishing bags on. So as we unbox it, you can see it's beautiful. It's not a, not a fingerprint on it, but mine. To, as we have a look at that next layer for a moment, you'll see that there's actually a triangle of cardboard that sits over the, um, the centre pin, the um, main bearing of the turntable, and ensures that it does, there's less movement and that all of the packaging nestles together. Next layer is a couple of pieces of this uh, foam bubbly stuff that actually helps ensure that the surface of the deck of the turntable isn't damaged. Lifting this out, I'll just put it off to one side, while we have a look at the next layer in the box. Okay. So you'll see one, two pieces of formed foam, and within one of those pieces, the, the turntable's uh, counterweight. A couple of pieces of polystyrene help to secure in place the power supply. Uh, this is now a multi-voltage power supply. Um, designed for the New Zealand market, it just simply comes with an adapter. Uh, this is 15 volt DC, and I think has a you know 100 to 240 volt sort of input. It's a very, very easy way of uh, ensuring that things come as a multi-voltage. Easy to click together, nice and light, nice and efficient. In the base of the box, we have the platter. The platter being the largest, heaviest piece, uh, it's packed in the bottom, in fact it's packed upside down to ensure that it can come to no harm in transit and can't sort of wiggle around and create any damage to the turntable. Um, in there is the felt mat and steel platter. 
As we look at the turntable for the first time, again it's inside one of these uh, cloth bags. I'm just being very careful removing this for a moment because it could drag potentially across the stylus or the arm and move it. So this isn't a walnut finish and if we pause for a moment I want to sort of have a quick look at some of the feature set. The turntable comes with Project's uh, steel arm. Uh, this is from the old debut carbon and it's nice to see it implemented in such a, a well appointed turntable. It's got an independently suspended motor and a flywheel. This unit comes with a speed box inbuilt allowing the user to easily select between 33 and 45 speed and uh, it's a push and hold to turn it on and off uh, changing speeds easy nice nice and easy if we look at the rear of the unit though and I lift it up this is where it changes from what you see in a traditional turntable its outputs are no longer a traditional phono out but its onboard phono stage means its output matches closer to that of a traditional unit like a CD player or a tape or something like that Beside it, of course, is its USB output. As uh, it, this record master name suggests, it's designed perhaps to allow the user to record the odd record, digitize it for the purposes of using it elsewhere. Okay. Now, assembling this is quite straightforward, and perhaps I'll take some photographs ensuring that the process can be more easily seen. But the platter goes on, um, after the belt, of course, and then the lid. If you're assembling this and the lid is being put on, please just be patient and careful. Lining up the hinges is an important factor and don't try and force it um, or it just simply won't work. In fact, I've managed to snag it now. Just out of there we go. Okay, so there we have it. Unboxing now. Debut's lovely Recordmaster turntable. Unboxed here at the Listening Post Christchurch. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.